you have to unpack it, roll out it on the floor, plug it into a fan and just let it inflate over five minutes and it gets this structure. This is the Inflativerse. This is uh, Nottingham University's mobile planetarium, which we take to schools to show students uh, all about astronomy. So we have an inflatable dome, and inside we can project images of the stars uh, or the constellations to try and show students what the night sky looks like and explain different things such as moon phases or how the stars change during the night. Inside it, we have a projector, so we can just project light through a cylinder with the stars on it onto the walls of the dome. And it's really realistic. It looks as though you're looking at the night sky inside. So to get into this thing, we just have to crawl through the entrance tube. So we just open up the flaps and crawl in through the gap. So the projector itself just has a lamp exactly in the middle of this filter. And once you put this on top, it just projects the constellations in this case. We've got several filters where we can just project things um, onto the dome. And that ranges from ocean currents over plate tectonics down to constellations and stars and the southern sky and the northern sky. For us, we arrive at a school and we're ready to go 20 minutes later. And most of that is just unpacking the dome and having it inflate because that takes a few minutes. Then you just uh, plug in the projector, you put a filter on top, you switch the light on and you're ready to go. Mostly we're focusing on looking at the constellations at different times of year and showing where the moon is and the planets are. I mean, everyone in the project is really enthusiastic and the enthusiasm really comes across inside the dome. Um, so hopefully we can get the kids interested. The basic idea is to engage people into science. And uh, we're currently aiming at year four and year nine students. For primary kids, it's much more about uh, telling stories and telling myths and showing the constellations, uh, not actually the physics behind it.